Welcome back, fuckers. All right, we're gonna quickly run through how to use the targeting pod in conjunction with the SA page to find SAM sites down on the ground. Save you the heartache of trying to find them with your eyeballs manually. We can uh, use the SA page to advantage to find said targets. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure our SA page is on and you can see we've got a SA15 ahead of us. All right, we're not getting any any uh, SA15 nails as of yet, but there is definitely an SA15 on the SA page threat ring. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn on our FLIR pod. All right, move it to that. And now we're just going to take it out of there. All right, so we're gonna make sure our pod is controllable. So we've got the little diamond there. Okay, zoom out. And I'm not even gonna look at this pod. Okay, I'm not gonna look at that. I'm just gonna look purely yeah, so that square that you see moving around, that is where my targeting pod is looking. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that square right in the middle of that number 15. Okay, so I'm not even looking at my targeting pod. Just putting him right in the middle. It's a little touchy. All right, so pretty much in the middle there. Let's have a look. Zoom on in here. Let's have a look, see if we can find, there we go. There is said SA-15. Look at that. Easy as TDC to press, get the diamond on. And that target, good sir, is ready to get hammered by a J now. Alright, so we can uh, effectively, once we get within range, we've found the target, SA-15, off of the SA page. Narrowed our search down. And that is how you do it. That's how you find targets, SA-15s, SA-6s, any SAM threats or threat rings that are on the SA page. And you've got a targeting pod. You can see where your targeting pod is looking by the square. Put the square on the number. And then fine tune your search with your eyeballs on the actual targeting pod. And that's how you take care of business. Righto, boys. Hope that helped. Catch you fuckers on the next one.